hey, long time no see. My husband is on a business trip internationally, actually, and right now is the first time that I've had to make a video <laughs> in a really long time. So I thought I would just give a healing update and share a couple experiences that I've had. I am doing well. My, my surgery, like months ago, went well to remove the front bar and screws. And like the relief was immediate. <laughs> Like, I don't think people understand how much pain I was in before because it was just awesome. Like, all the exercises they had asked me to do and, I mean, just like walking, sitting, you know, holding the, uh, I mean, you know, everything. It was awesome. And so it, there's still a screw in the back and it's hard for me to not think that this would like just be immediately so much better too but um there's still i have been advised that there is still support needed so um it's it's staying in for now and so it just hurts like uh when i sit like in a soft or deep chair for too long and uh, in a couple of different yoga positions, but for the most part, it's, it's just fine. So things are going really well. And I got to see the same chiropractor that I saw right before and after our baby, our sixth baby was born in Missouri. And then since moving here to California, I found this amazing uh, husband and wife team for our family to get to see. And she is just absolutely a healer. And the first time that, that we went, uh, she, she addressed, I had this um, really bad spot in my neck right behind my jaw and she said that it had started when I was like six and uh, so when she released that I just felt it and I'm hoping like my posture can continue to improve but then the next morning I I was able to do a yoga position that I that I hadn't done since before I fell and I was just like crying with gratitude like thank you i'm so grateful to be alive and i love my body so much and she uh she also found a cool thing in my one of my feet she was like oh this this foot experienced some trauma not related to this fall it was another fall when you were a teenager probably and i was like oh yes I went cliff jumping as a teenager and fell to the bottom of the lake. <laughs> and, um, so she, like, you know, straightened down my foot or whatever. And so that was cool. Feels different. <laughs> but I just, I just love people who are so in tune. And she said, your body wants to be well and I already know that like I love my body so much and I know that my body wants to be optimal for me but she said as soon as I began to work your body just immediately like with so much grace and gratitude responded to to my touches and um encouragements because she's like a osteopath chiropractor or something it's like more gentle and yeah, so I'm grateful. I'm grateful to have found that office and it was totally orchestrated to find it, of course. And I'm also doing Qigong, which is a form of, it's kind of like Tai Chi, kind of like yoga, but it's just more breath work and just gentle movements. Uh, because like I said, I can't, there's a couple of yoga positions that are just too intense and I, uh, but I still wanted 
I love Qigong because it like helps the energy to flow and helps me to relax so that my body can do what it needs to to heal. And so I've just been loving, loving that. And uh, so, okay, so two experiences. So I was out on the deck uh, one morning doing Qigong and you can see the ocean from our from our deck here and kind of like jokingly in my mind I was like and I'm not gonna lean against the railing um, and then I I just felt this like deep knowing settle over me that if I had not leaned against the railing I would not have fallen because I could have just stood on my own two feet and like you know tossed those popcorn seeds into the forest for the birds just like holding my own weight but because I chose to overreach and actually like go out of balance to lean against the railing I fell off the deck and broke my pelvis and so in that moment I saw in my heart and mind this parallel drawn between that experience of physically falling and my foundation being broken to to an experience that i also had uh like in in the past you know while like the past calendar year at that time of several people in my spiritual community judging me as having fallen and labeling me as fallen. And so I just saw this perfect parallel and was taught that if I had not, because I'm sure within myself I can, I can stand on my own with God. But because I was choosing to lean on a structure outside of myself, I fell. But structures fall apart. Like that's what, that's what happens here in this world. Like, I don't know if you've ever read that book, Things Fall Apart by Chinua Chepe. I, I was a TA in a class that read that book, but things fall apart here. And that structure that I leaned on was unstable. It, I didn't need to be leaning on that structure, but because I was, then I was labeled and judged as fallen. Just like I leaned on that physical structure and literally fell. <laughs> but if I had stood on my own, I would not have fallen. And it was just such a beautiful learning, like, thank you. <laughs> so grateful. I am so grateful for the way my holy ones teach me. And another learning it kind of like it kind of has to do with my jaw actually and my neck so uh like that spot that 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 doctor dr emma uh found like the very first time that i met her um uh, so the last time that i saw like went to the surgeon's office i asked them for a cd of all of the images of everything that they had of mine and then I got home and realized like we don't have a computer with the CD drive anymore because we had let it go and so I went when I went to the chiropractic office before leaving I asked like hey can I look at this CD because I was also seeing a, a physical therapist who was just I've talked about her before uh, but Anyway, so I got to see all these images of that were 
such reassuring second witnesses to me because I was trying to explain things that I was feeling and sensing within myself and people would just be like, oh, well, you know, it's going to be different and whatever. And I don't know if things could have actually turned out differently, but my, my sits bones, like the two loops at the bottom of your pelvis did heal like reform asymmetrically. So one of them is higher up and kind of like more out to the side than the other. And so I just kind of always sit like kind of tilted and I'm going to have to get like a little wedge in one of my shoes. And I don't know when, like they said, it will become more and more accentuated over time. And, um, and I was just trying to explain that to people. And so I was just so grateful to see like the photo evidence of that reality. But it also came with uh, some mourning because I was like, now I'm deformed, like literally deformed. <laughs> and just kind of trying to come to terms with that. Because before it was just like, okay, it's going to heal. It'll all be well, you know, whatever. And so as I, I was steaming and as I was just processing that, I, I was sitting in my bathroom and the spirit told me to look. And so I looked up and saw like, and, cause he had said, look, and my eyes were drawn to my jaw, which is very asymmetrical. Like, I don't know if you can see this, but like this side sticks out way different than this side. Like I have a very asymmetrical face. And so when I saw that, I literally laughed out loud. <laughs> and, <clears throat> and my Holy Ones just taught me, like, your pelvis will be no less serviceable to you. Like, your face, even though it is asymmetrical, and, like, you know, this side is different than this side, you can still use it Well, everything's okay and so I just thought that was so cool that she addressed that that point that like helped to create this situation <laughs> um and um yeah so that was beautiful and it and it's true it's been it's been true I I feel especially now I feel the strength of my body I'm so grateful for for my body I love I love my body and I know that my body loves me and wants to be um well for me so oh, what else about healing I love living by the ocean. I feel like I traded the forest for the ocean. And I love making a place my home. And I'm grateful for the ways that my family is getting to grow here. Even though I miss Willow. <laughs> I know she's being well taken care of with her new family. And, and it's cool because when I dropped her off, I, I told this, my sister friend, like, I've always just felt such an affinity to you. And now I know it's because I had our dog and now you have our dog and she just smiled and it was great. So, but I, I miss the animals of the forest too. There's less opportunity for animal messengers here, <laughs> at least, um, I don't know, maybe still setting up the house and everything, but it's good. Like I said, I love 
qigong and getting to learn about breathing and just really centering and letting that energy flow because i love yoga but this is like just another form of body healing body temple healing from the family of Japheth. So I think that's my healing update. Things are going well. Life is good. <laughs> full. Oh, so full. I hope you're well too. Have a good day or good night.